Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, Sal Ferrara from the Electrical Training Center. Today we're going to do a calculation for mobile homes. Okay, this is like you have a big lot and everything and you want to put some mobile homes on there. How do you figure out the service? Okay, how do you actually figure out the service? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into article 550 550 sorry 550 dot 31 550 is mobile homes okay so let me explain what what is given and what the problem is we want to know what the service is for the service size for 26 mobile homes and the voltage and well, let me okay the voltage for this is 120 slash 240 volts and each you each home each home we have a calculated load of 22,000 volts amps okay each home has a calculated load of 22,000 volt amps so we want to find out, we need, to, we need to find out the service conductors, the calculated load. So step one, what we're going to do is, we're going to go 22,000 volt amps times how many, how many mobile homes? 26, right, homes, which equals 572,000 volt amps. Now, I got a stupid question. Is everything going to be on the same time for these 26 units? That means, is everybody going to be going to do in the wash the same time? Are people, uh, people going to put the lights on at the same time? No. People might go on vacation. They might be there. Some people might work during the day. So what's going to be, what's going to happen? You're going to have a demand factor. Because that all 26 units are going to be using 22,000 volt amps at the same time. Whatever, they, whatever type of loads there are in, the, in each unit. So there's going to be a demand factor. And there's a table, okay? And the table is, so step two is a, is a demand factor for these 22,000 um, uh, 22, volt amp mobile homes. So step two, the demand factor. Demand factor. Meaning that not everything, not everything will be on at same time, okay? And this is going to be, so let me just explain. So you're going to take the 5, 572,000 and there's a demand. And the demand for this is point. Two, four. That's table 550.31. And if we do this, we come out with 137280 volt amps. 137,280 volt amps. And now all you got to do is basic Ohm's law. And here's basic Ohm's law P equals E times I. We want to find, we got the power, which is volt, this is power, which is, which is volt amps, and we got the voltage, which is 240. You don't use 120, 120 is for the branch circuit, 240 is for the service, okay? So we're going to find it, we're going to say, we're going to say, hello hand, and we're going to cover I. Okay, so this P, this is a formula, this means equals in the formula, P equals E times I. We're going to cover I. And now we make it an equation, which is P divided by E. Very simple. So we're going to go P equals E. I'm sorry, we're looking for I. I'm sorry, we're looking for I. I equals E P divided by E. Okay, which equals 137280 divided by 240. And if you do this, you're going to come out with... 572 amps. So that's the size of the service that we're going to need for this uh, for these 26 mobile homes. So again, if if you if you like what you see, click below and subscribe to us. Thank you.